Dr. Herbert Jasper has devoted his life to discovering the mechanisms of the human brain. While studying experimental psychology at the University of Iowa, he became intrigued by talk of brain waves. Dr. Gasser then had a Nobel Prize for his work on action potentials and nerves, said, well, don't waste your time with that. So, but I kept being interested in it and uh, thought maybe Gasser wasn't right. Maybe it wasn't all just action potentials from billions of cells. Maybe there's some other kind of electrical activity that means something for mental life. That thought stayed with him, even as he went on to explore molecular chemistry and biology in France. While still working on his University of Paris thesis, he set up one of the first clinical electroencephalograph labs at Brown University. It was there that he learned of Dr. Penfield's progress in mapping the human brain. So I brought him out to the laboratory where we were doing brain waves. I said, I can locate one of your foci of epileptic seizures with this method. He said, what? You mean with wires stuck on the outside of the head? You can record an electrical seizure focused inside? I said, yes, I've done it on several patients already, but I haven't confirmed them yet. And I need you to help me. Would you operate on a couple of my patients that I've already localized and see if I was right? So he said, well, I have my doubts, but uh, I'd, I'll try it out for you. Send a couple of patients up, and I did. And fortunately, the first two patients turned out very well. <laughs> he was able to open up the brain where I pointed with my electrical studies, and he found the lesion where I had pointed with electrical. Soon, Penfield arranged for Dr. Jasper's move to the Montreal Neurological Institute, where a multidisciplined approach to neuroscience inspired Jasper's later efforts in the founding of the International Brain Research Organization. It was also here at McGill that he received his medical degree. Initially, he was given a failing mark for using brain activity as an indicator of death. Well, they'd never heard of that. You see, <laughs> it was when his heart stopped. They said he was dead. I said, well, when his brain waves disappear, there's no brain activity, and I could say the man's dead. So I, they corrected then the grade on my examination and I managed to get through. Jasper and Penfield shared a love for sports and worked together for many years. Together, they published Epilepsy and the Functional Anatomy of the Human Brain. One of the other reasons that Penfield and I got along so well together was that we shared interest in discovery of mechanisms of the brain. In fact, he didn't like too often to admit it, but his interest in epilepsy was mostly what epilepsy could teach him about how the brain worked. There we shared a common interest. Dr. Jasper went on to pioneer several advances in brain research including the study of individual cell activity. He eventually left the MNI to set up a center of neuroscience at the University of Montreal, where his explorations have delved further into the reactive state of the brain. So that my interest in mech mechanisms is coupled with this knowledge that whatever I learn gives us more opportunity to treat people of all kinds of diseases of the brain. So that you, you see they're fused together. And that's what gives me the greatest satisfaction, I must say. <laughs>